Good morning. Do 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 do. Good morning, boys. Okay, we haven't done this in a while. We haven't done this in a while. So today, mm -hmm, I was like, "What are we gonna make a video about?" I was like, "We're gonna make a video about a React." And why? Am I learning React? It's a programming language for people who don't know. And why am I learning React? Because to make cool things okay to make fucking cool things that's the short answer long answer i don't know to make cool things to make a world of better place i just like making cool stuff okay i don't know how to how, how to explain like how i feel when i make cool stuff like i just i just feel it's just fucking fun okay it's just fucking fun like i don't know like my dad used to tell me like like why are you fucking making this stuff like this is so dumb and everything that was Everything that has needs to be made is already made and already been invented and I'm not gonna invent anything fucking useful and shit like that. But like I don't know. I don't I don't think he's realized that every invention is like uh comes from a fucking necessity, okay? Like and a necessity is caused by a fucking problem and there will always be a problem, otherwise you will be living in fucking utopia or stuff like that, you know, and this will never happen. But I never knew this, okay? Uh, I, I just knew this when I was older and shit like that. It's just fucking fun making cool stuff. The first time I made, the first thing I made, I remember was the most destructive thing ever, okay? I was 11 years old and I made the most destructive thing ever for my best friend and it has ruined his life ever since, okay? What do you think I made, okay? What do you think I made as an 11 year old? As an 11 year old, that could ruin someone's life is not mine not mine my best friend's life okay this uh, uh, i remember when i was like in fifth grade i think fifth or sixth fifth grade i think when i was in fifth grade that was my friend called raman yeah he he was, he's a relative in a way but uh, there was a guy named raman we used to be in a basement right so one day this guy brings something called a motor right a motor is something that rotates when you hooked up to a fucking battery right so this guy brings this fucking motor right and i'm like he he shows he shows it to me and i'm i'm blown away right he hooks it up to a fucking battery and he starts rotating i'm like whoa this is the coolest thing ever right uh, it's, i was 11 okay and he apparently he got it from one of his rc car a remote control car and it is it's supposed to be in a bag and stuff like that uh, but i didn't have a one I didn't have what had one RC car, right? So I wanted one. So I when when it, it was lunch time, when he when Ramon went out to get his lunch, I went to his fucking bag and I took it from his bag. I just stole it. I'm like, that's what I did, okay? I was a fucking thing. I was a fucking thief when I was a kid, okay? I just stole everything and anything that I wanted. I, I don't know. I just got away with literally everything. I never got caught. Yeah, even if I get caught, I like, I always get, got out of it. I, I I was like so confident about stealing stuff. I was like, I'm never gonna get caught. Even if I got caught, I'm gonna get away with. It. I was that fucking confident. Like, and it was not just me. It was my fucking whole family. Not family. My cousins and stuff. We were three. Okay. It was a it is a story for a different time. Okay. We we just stole stuff. All the time and never gave a fuck never literally never give a fuck it's a story for a different time anyway what do you think an 11 year old can make from a fucking motor dude fucking, fucking motor okay this was uh, okay my best friend my best friend right this fucking ruined his life this my best friend my best friend name is ratna right ratna so um so uh, uh, we were 11 at the time 11 at the time so uh we used to play football a lot right we used to play football soccer whatever the fuck you want to call it we used to play football a lot and ooh, I, I used to be an introverted kid i still am and and he was the extroverted one he was the cool one supposedly because you're extroverted you're not you fuck um so he used to play soccer a lot and we uh, one of my one of our teammates was a 15 year old his name was sanjeev something like that i couldn't remember whoever the fuck it was 
he was like 15 16 year olds and he uh, ratna took him took me to took, took me to his house right uh, so we went to his house we went to his house and there were a couple of fucking guys in his room right like there was a um, couple of guys in his room they were like literally these 15 year olds just was just were tattooing each other So we were these little kids just watching these big dudes, right, tattooing each other and we, we didn't think, I didn't think a lot of it. I was like, fuck it, it is what it is, I, I don't care, right. And we went home, we went home that day and on, on the way home, Ratna, Ratna told me like, whoa, that is so sick, dude, I, I wanna fucking get a tattoo or whatever. And I was like, dude, you know what, you said it, I, and I went to home went to home and watching youtube like what the fuck how do i make one right because i thought like okay this dude wants a tattoo i will get this dude a tattoo and i went home i got a motor so basically a tattoo machine is like a literally a fucking motor hooked up to a fucking needle and that goes like like that's basically what tattoo machine is right it's not but like for it is though it is it is literally that it is literally that right so what i did was i got a spoon right this is a spoon the spoon i bent the fucking spoon so this is a bent spoon i taped the fucking spoon to it right i taped the fucking spoon to the fucking motor and i got a button so button this is a button right i put the button here right and i put this is a long fucking rod it was not even a fucking needle okay it was fucking long rod and and i bent the fucking rod and put it here and there's there was a needle here i just taped the fucking sewing needle in the end and i literally hooked the fucking motor to a fucking car battery I, how did i get a car battery i don't know dude i just found one i fucking found a car battery and i hooked up with it because like any other small battery wouldn't work with it so i got a fucking car battery and hooked up with it and that's literally it that's literally it and we we'll just dip ink and fucking it's a tattoo machine that literally is what it is and next day next day right Ratna comes to my house i'm like dude look at what i made uh, dude was fucking amazed by it okay it was like bro okay let's let's make one let's make a tattoo okay and first we tried it in my hand right this is my hand and we literally tried to make a fucking heart in my hand and i was like after one fucking dink from the thing i was like fuck no i was 11 years old when this happened okay 11 years old and i was like fuck no dude we are not doing this and i'm like bitch i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it so he i can't remember if he took the fucking tattoo machine or he made one himself just by copying the fucking thing but i remember the other the next day the very next day this dude comes up to me and shows his arm and i'm like i'm like dude look at it dude look at it and guess what it is it's a fucking scorpion dude this 11 year old year old kid has a fucking scorpion in his arm like dude what the fuck at the time it was the coolest thing ever it was the fucking coolest thing ever and what he did was he he literally got a water paints right i don't know if it was water paint or an actual fucking tattoo ink but whatever it was i think he was fucking using water inks like you know the water inks you can get get uh in stationery and stuff like that so we got a fucking watering ink, he dipped it, he dipped it in ink and just fucking went to work in his arm, right? So he drew a fucking scorpion. It was the worst fucking scorpion ever, okay? I I thought it was fucking cool uh, back in the day, but like when I saw, when I see it now, it's like the most ridiculous thing ever. I'm like, bro, dude, this, and it's to this day, it's still there. The scorpion is still there. It's disgusting, but it's still there, dude. And... It was not even the worst thing. It was still not even the this fucking guy, right? This Ratna guy. This guy comes to me the next day, right? Comes to me the next day, and he shows me his arm again. I'm like, bro, you already have the arm, have the fucking scorpion. What, what could have you have done? That's worse than a fucking scorpion. What could have you? What is the worst thing? What is worse than a fucking scorpion in an eleven-year-old arm? guess guess what it is guess is his fucking name in the fucking arm i'm not joking i'm not joking show him the fucking picture 
Show the picture. It's still there. It's still fucking there. And at the time, it was so sick, dude. He had his big fucking Ratna in his fucking arm. And I'm like, dude, it's so sick. But after a while, I'm like, bro, this is so fucked. You're 11 year old. 11 year old. And he has his name in his fucking arm, dude. This is the dumbest thing ever. And he's still there. It's a great story when he tells to his fucking kids and stuff like that. But like, I do not get fucking tattoos, 11 year olds. If you're 11 year old, do not get a tattoo. Wait till you're 18, dude. I, I think that's why fucking uh, developed fucking countries don't get fucking, don't let fucking minors get tattoos. Okay, but it was back in Nepal, dude. Nepal is, you can literally do anything, okay? Kids were unsupervised. We can literally do anything we want, okay? We could do literally the most destructive thing ever and no one would fucking care, okay? About that, I just love fucking destructive things, okay? Next thing, me and Radna made. Guess what could have been more destructive than a fucking tattoo? It was not destructive, okay? It was fun and, fun and games till it was not. Till it was not, okay? What, what do you think it is? More than ruining someone's fucking life. It was a gun. A fucking gun. A fucking gun, okay? Brother, we fucking love gun to this day. To this day, we talk about going in a fucking gun range, okay? We haven't gone in a gun range. We will do that soon. But to this day, we still love guns. I, I don't know. There's something about going boom. Boom. Like, I just love it. I just fucking love it. And... We literally okay this was when i was 12 after after the fucking tattoo incident we went to fucking guns again okay? tattooing was not cool anymore it was still for ratna but uh for me I, I was like way past it and uh we went to youtube right savior savior youtube maker all of things right we went to youtube and looked at the fucking gun videos and it's literally a gun is literally gunpowder at the end and a metal bearing or whatever the fuck you can a bit way that can move like right? when and when you light the fucking gunpowder it, uh, it explodes and it goes a boom right the middle bearing goes boom and that's literally a gun that's what a gun is so how did we get the fucking gunpowder the only thing that was that we couldn't get was gunpowder right so what it did was we got we got tons of fucking math sticks right math sticks it was like fucking one or two rupees at the time right so we got math sticks right and and by one by one we got the tip of the math stick we would just crumble it right with our hands and crumble it and we would have enough for like one round or two it would be fucking a lot of math sticks okay not just one it'll be loads and loads and loads and loads so we would just get mass sticks and moves just fucking destroy it and put it in a paper a lot of fuck it and we would get a metal fucking metal fucking rod and just sob all the fucking uh gunpowders in it and a fucking bearing or whatever the fuck we would just use a crampled metal right we'll just use a crampled metal i'll just light the fucking end and it would go boom and we would fucking laugh with fucking joy okay because it was so much fun and we made like a couple of rendition of it we made proper rendition of it we would have triggers trigger was literally a fucking lighter at the end and it was just burning the fucking gunpowder and it went boom and the last fucking rendition of a gun we made was the most scariest one okay we the last one had a fucking hole in the end for a bullet Bullet was literally a fucking shell with a fucking gunpowder and a bearing that was like movable. We had a handle and an ignition. The ignition was pretty neat. Uh, so we have like lighters, right? So lighters are literally just gas canister with a fucking igniter, like a small igniters with a spark plug. So I took the spark plug and put it in so it create a fucking spark whenever I fucking push it. Uh, so I would load the fucking fucking bullet in the thing and when i ignited it it would go boom and i didn't realize like how fucking powerful it was right so up up 
up until this point we made like a small gun small guns not that big not that loud not that powerful okay so i was in my room when i finished making it and i, I was about to shoot okay this was fucking my room there was like one window and a bed right and a door and i was here i was just aiming down the fucking window and i just shot it i just shot the fucking window and it went boom it, it was like something that I, a literal fucking gun would make okay the sound was like boom and it, it fucking like everyone in the fucking neighborhood probably heard it okay i was in a fucking room and my fucking parents were in the house i i thought it was gonna make like not not that big of a sound okay when i fucking shot it but like it made a huge fucking sound and my fucking parents were like what the fuck is this they ran to my fucking room right rushed to my fucking room and uh, they were at the fucking door and they were knocking at the door like what the fuck you just did you fuck i'm gonna fucking kill you and my dad was like fucking yelling and stuff and i was inside the fucking room like shitting myself i'm like fuck i'm fucking dead now and they came inside they took all my fucking stuff right they took all my stuff i had a bunch of fucking like metal parts and fucking stuff lying around right and this is took all my fucking stuff and i got fucking scared i was like 12 at the time so i literally got scared because i was like i think it was like really powerful like if i had fucking shot someone like i think it would have not fucking killed them but like actually fucking hurt them so do not make fucking guns kids okay do not make fucking guns and yeah i think that was the last thing i fucking made like hardware hard items like real hardware items because uh, that was that fucking scary so um uh, after my fucking parents took everything right after my parents took everything from the fucking my stuff i moved on to more of a software because like it was pretty much the same thing i could pretty much put all my creative energy into the fucking making dumb shit but it wouldn't harm fucking people and stuff so i learned html after that i think and after that i was like doing javascript after that i think i learned python make a couple of fucking apps here and there after that i think i learned csr to make fucking games in unity i think and now we're learning react because uh, i want to make full-on fucking apps and shit right uh, with uh, websites and shit so i think it's more easier to make it with react i tried I, i've watched it angular and uh, a lot of people in stack overflow are saying that like react is better than angular for some reason i don't know why i haven't tried it so that is why we are learning react from today and that's a wrap i guess all right oh see you tomorrow